This is the eye test. This is the eye test. test. Ring gang. Radio. This is the eye test. Yes. Yes. Hey, what they do, man? Yo, PJ, where you at? I'm surviving. I'm here. I'm boxing. You, what else can you ask for in life? Word, word, word. Although you, you, you kind of fucked up the intro, nigga. You supposed to be up right here, man. Nah, let's uh, we're going straight to the boxing here. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, no games, no punches being pulled. Um, yeah. So fuck it. Let's get right into it. Oh uh, yeah. So as people would have already noticed, uh, the previous night was the event that was known as the uh, Canelo Kovala fight, or as some people might know as the the baby brother to do the UFC event that happened. There were some good fights on there. There was just something that uh, something that really stuck out for us, really grinded our gears. Uh, but you talking about that uh, delay? Yeah, the tap dance show that, uh, who was it again? Oh yeah, Oscar, Oscar. Oscar decided to stall out because he didn't want to uh, run at the same time as the UFC card. Where he decided to pull all stocks. Yeah, I, I feel you. But the, the thing is, the, the card was decent. Yeah. But it's like the presentation is what, what fucked it up for me. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not saying it was the best that card, but we we've had worse. Mm-hmm. The the Blair Cobb the the Blair Cobb fight was decent. You mm-hmm. gotta finish. Um. The, the, but, but what killed? You know, so you had a good start, but what, mm-hmm. what kills the fucking fights? For that night, and this before we even get into Covid Canelo and shit, mm-hmm. was the unnatural delay and, and stretching out of every fucking thing. The card started at nine o'clock, and it didn't finish until like two in the morning, and we only got four fucking fights, mm-hmm. and one of them was damn uh, what two minutes. Yeah, that that one was it was great because you know Oscar was like dying when he saw that. Yeah, he's like fuck. Like yo, <laughs> like I, I ain't gonna lie, like I was disappointed in in the card as a whole because it was too much fucking filler. Like it made me think back in middle school we, 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 watching Dragon Ball Z. Like you have commercials, one fight, about commercials, commercial, commercial, and then it's not even a fight. The next time this motherfucker's talking about a fight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's what these niggas kept doing the whole fucking episode. I'm sorry, the whole fucking. <laughs> it, it was pretty night, much an episode. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm, it, it's running together, and it, that, that's how that shit feels. So that shit was just highly unacceptable. Like, look, niggas gotta pick and choose. You could love MMA, you could love boxing, but when you buy a ticket or when you ch- turn on the channel for a particular event, nigga. Choose a side. Pick one. Ain't no <laughs> yeah. fucking. All right, let's see. Uh, when when this fight's done, then we all could watch boxing. And then... no, no, no. Like this, this was worse than the damn Bradley Pacquiao with um. I think it was the Celtics or it was the NBA Finals game or something. Which I could understand a little bit because even <laughs> then, uh, you you had um. The fight started late, but I don't think it started this late. Not no, not one twenty a.m. Nope. It was so bad the production delays that they showed Canelo and and Kovalev in the back sleeping. Yeah. Fucking sleeping, bro. Like on the that's how I knew on the couch. And shit. It was like, peak fuck? fuckery. Yeah, peak fuckery. Like well, boxing fans don't deserve that. Like y'all literally just said, you know what? <sighs> Let's give ourselves an L to, to UFC. Yeah, <laughs> UFC. And I ain't shitting on UFC. I enjoy that as well. You know, we combat sports over here, you know, but it's boxing. And, you know, when I'm tuned into an event, I was watching I'm not, both. Yeah, but I'm at the crib, man. I ain't, you know, on the stream. I ain't fucking going back and forth and all that shit. I'm going to pick one event and I'm going to ride it out. I ain't, I ain't pat up here with the damn, you know, uh, security fucking monitors camera all, setup. you know, <laughs> camera set up all over the fucking living room. And I'm like, hmm, okay, let's see what PBC is doing. Hmm, ESPN, let's see what they're doing. Hmm, the zone. Nah, nah, fuck all that. 
<laughs> I'm not a past level. I just had a phone. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you. The phone is cool. Like the phone is like with something going down. You're like, oh shit, hold on, wait, wait. So yeah, that's cool. But I'm not gonna be doing all that other extra shit. So, you know, niggas gotta start, you know, coming correct. Like that was bullshit. Like and, and then the main event itself was just so. It was just so I. Yeah, I mean, it was it was that level of it because you know both those fighters were just like. I've never been stalled for a fight for this long. They it was literally, literally like to, an hour. Yeah, they had to shake off the sleepiness. Yeah, they, they fucked up the package on this one, man. Like, oh, did I, they I ain't gonna lie. Like, niggas need to damn, um, well, what you say? Y'all, y'all get, the, get that Rico charge on uh, Oscar Plug? <laughs> whoever Oscar's plug is, whoever his liquor store plug is, whatever plug it is that's making him fuck up, they need to just get arrested. Yeah, like I, I, yeah, this is just I can't tolerate this bullshit. Like, mm-hmm. like uh, yeah, yeah. We, we could tell like when get punched in the face, he <laughs> need to get punched in the face. Like, y'all, yeah. y'all ruined what could have been a decent night of boxing with that shit. Like, especially, literally between every fight was like twenty or thirty minutes. Yeah, especially since one of those fights was literally a fight of the year contender. Yes, it, it's like that's the, the woman's the woman's boxing. Yes. That was basically the women's Barrera uh, Morales right there. I was just like, there's bad blood no matter what. That was a good fight. That was like the best women's boxing match since the uh, Katie Taylor and uh, Person. Yeah. The, I, on the undercard of Joshua Ruiz. Yeah. And was this the first one or have they done one before where women's were doing three minutes instead of two? Ah, one of them fought like three minutes before. Um... So they've it's, it's been done before, I guess, in certain states. But this is the first time I was able to see it myself, and yeah. I liked it. You know, e- you know, I'm all for equal rights, equal lefts. You know, let, let them fight <laughs> three minutes. Yeah, they're trained to fight three minutes anyway. Yeah, we we got a good fight out of that shit too. Yeah, I mean the 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 Hardy and um, what's the other Serrano? Shit? Serrano, that was just a fucking. <laughs> A rare occurrence where you know somebody could have almost got stopped in two minutes, but they survive it, and we get a good a good ass fucking fight out of it too. Mm-hmm. So I mean I ain't even mad at that. You know let them fight three minutes, fuck it. But um, this damn Can- Canelo Kovalev, I'ma just start it off like this. Drum roll. <laughs> what did we tell? you <laughs> what did we tell you what did, didn't we call it well, remember after the yard Kovalev fight we was like the good the bad the ugly broke it down yeah. cherry pick y'all see why y'all see why we was calling this shit a cherry pick it was just a really well strategic pick <laughs> yeah like, like there was no top. quest there no like no question about it he, he was strategically chosen because he was a cherry yeah I'm sorry if you're a Canelo fan. We're just being real here. Just being honest, straight up. I'm a Canelo fan too, but I can also tell when someone's picking like, you know, the least possible risk with the best uh, result. Yeah. And the way, you know, they had uh, Buddy McGirt selling Kovalev and, you know, his training and all this shit, you know, make you think like, mm, okay, he can have a little chance, but nah. he didn't really have a chance because, like, even then... I went back and just said, yeah, I buy the t- decision, you know, because I figured Kovalev might just could survive to the end. And he almost did, but, yeah, you know, my initial, yeah, I got the stoppage. But, but you remember, yeah, you, we was the first ones to call it. Our yeah. initial picks were Canelo by KO, Destruction, Brutal, <laughs> Fatality, whatever the fuck you want to call it. like All the finishings. All the finishers you can think of. That's that's basically what we said. And sometimes those knee jerk, you know, early predictions are the best ones because they that's what you feel. And mm. when you let niggas train and go through the motions and the promote and let the hype build up, you kind of start easing up a little. Yeah. But yeah, Can- Canelo Canelo got him. Um, I wasn't surprised by it. Uh, I was more taken back of how slow paced the fight was and. There, was, there wasn't a lot of meaningful punches. No, it was mostly just uh, 
posturing and finding, posturing, finding. Yeah, and it's like you had punches, but they just weren't meaningful. It was just like, okay, you know, a little feather jab. You know, Canelo was throwing like the bigger shots throughout the fight, but it was just so. It was just enough. <sighs> Barely enough. It was just so methodical and just so slow paced. Just the stalking and and Kovalev was low key damn near fighting scary the way he was trying to move away sometimes and I'm like dude just throw the jab hard stop pushing it and on some well he might counter me like mm. ah, it makes you think that like, everybody bitched him more about Golovkin you know not going crazy to Canelo's body and respecting his damn counter punching mm-hmm. but damn at least Golovkin win at it though <laughs> like Kovalev never started like that shit was crazy, uh. Yeah, I mean, even when I was watching it from the first round, I was like, I could tell after the first round, I was just like, Kovalev's gonna be like this all night. Yeah. He's gonna do the same thing all night. <laughs> like, to the point where even the ref was saying, stop stiff arming. Yeah. And I was just like, well, we know what, what the thing is. This is the ghost of Kovalev, so we'll see where he can go. Yeah, he ain't fight all that, um, confident. Like, not like a... Like a confident guy who's like, okay, you know what? Mm-hmm. I believe in my power jab, my right hand. He, I didn't, I didn't really see that. Like he landed a couple good shots on Canelo, but they were of the variety. They was the type of type of shots that we felt he could take anyway. Yep. And as soon as Canelo got into like you know bobbing, moving his head, readjusting, 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 it, you could tell like Canelo's just fucking with him at this point. Yeah. It was like only a, a matter of time. Like I felt like it was a the Amir Khan remix. <laughs> instead of a, a bigger guy, instead of a smaller guy that was cherry picked, he cherry picked the bigger guy. Hey, he's he's equal opportunities. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta give him that. Like, you know, no matter if you British, Russian, one one forty seven, <laughs> one seventy five. He'll find you. He'll find you. He'll he'll find the supermarket that you know you're conveniently located at. He goes through all the tomatoes and sees which one's the most ripe. Like, mm, presses it a little bit. Like, ah, that's the one. Mm, this cherry will work. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> is this on discount? All right. <laughs> oh man, it's just wow. Like the, it's just that. Honestly, like leave it to Canelo to to stop the whole flow of great fights we've been having with the top names uh, of the you know the top fighters of the sport well he did it on that one hand like yeah but i'm like still all it still all goes to oscar <laughs> yeah, no it's, it's it's both like but it's mostly oscar cuz i felt like the canelo kovalev fight i felt like we would have probably got more energy from them if yeah. they didn't have to cool down and didn't have to re you know get 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 the re-sweat pump up again before the fight like that was some bullshit like y'all yeah. y'all heard an event like yeah they both look like they had one too many drinks so they needed to rest yeah and, you and know, Oscar was looking lit like a motherfucker you I see know. his cheeks his face like, was so dude, red <laughs> this nigga was drinking like like he nah, it was just wasn't drinking like I don't know what he was on like everything that's everything God oh, damn, no. like, Oscar's that's, uh, Club, can you chill out? No, let's make it family friendly. He was high off life. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> life filled with dope. <laughs> life and with all food. types of shenanigans and, and vices and shit. Life with food. And I say that, and this is the thing, like, I respect De- Oscar De La Hoya as a boxer. Like, mm-hmm. he, a, he a Hall of Famer low-key bottom you know borderline era great like the dude the dude knew how to put events together get great you gave you good performances top level yeah. you know fought everybody mm-hmm. you know he maybe he, he he probably missed like what two people yeah but when you fight the names oscar fought like it's no big deal so mm-hmm. it is what it is but man like this shit with the canelo fight like canelo getting the knockout is damn kind of salvage this event yep the best part which uh as we were talking about it too we're just like oh man because like 
they stalled it to show all the useless ads, the YouTube fight that was coming up, and then they'll just say, "All right, cool main event, Ryan Garcia versus his dude." Oscar's just like, "Ah, I can at least delay this for thirty minutes." Fuck, dude, because he was the, like, "Bro, at one point I thought they weren't even gonna show the women's fight." <laughs> Dude, like seriously, because they weren't even showing the names on the screen at the bottom. They kept saying like Andy Ruiz interview and all this. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Like, I actually want to see this damn women's fight. Like, dude, like, p- put them on my TV already. Like, nigga. <laughs> the funny part was, uh, think about the guys who were there live. Oh, man. Yo, honestly, there was one point I heard um, all like, bullshit, bullshit. I'm like, damn, like yeah wow like yeah that was that wasn't a good look for boxing um <clears throat> 200 plus bucks to just be treated like that nah i'd fight somebody yeah like nah that's that wasn't a good look at all man like i understand delaying a little you know 15 minutes here you know yeah. but not after every match on the card you can't have four fights stretch out from nine o'clock to 2 a.m yeah, and and and, and it, it pisses me off because low key y'all like, y'all fucked it up for the international fans. Like you know, it ain't just about the American audiences. You know, boxing's worldwide and um shit prolific. By my dude on um, Ring Ring Gang Radio, the you know the video dude, prolific genius, the one who be putting together all the videos, the um, those mashups that y'all see and the highlight videos. Shout outs to Maverick. I mean, we was corresponding through Texas and everything about the fights, and he ended up just fucking falling asleep because the fight was taking too long. And you gotta understand, like the man five hours ahead of me in the time, like that that British time. So yeah, it's already you know. <laughs> normally, the main event supposed to come on around eleven thirty, so that's already bad. Yeah, you know. But you a boxing fan, so we're like, fuck it, you know. I'm gonna stick it. Stick it through, you know, shout out to the British fans and overseas fans. But when you get to the main event and it's at 1 30, you know, 1 o'clock, 1 20, that's like unacceptable. Yeah, I even, you you even remember the text I said, like, I gave up, bro. Yeah, even PJ was like, man, fuck it. I'm, I'm the only dude who was like, you know what? I watch this bullshit. I gotta see this. I gotta see how good this cherry pick look. <laughs> <laughs> cherry pie. Yeah, I was just like, yo, that pit will show it to me later. Yeah, yeah, facts. That shit, uh, but uh, overall, like, it, it, it was another weak Canelo event. And honestly, like, the tension you feel with Gar- Ryan Garcia, Canelo, and Oscar De La Hoya, and the way this event, Oscar, I felt like he's fucking up Canelo's career with this shit. It just, this just leave a whole bad taste in my mouth. Mm-hmm. Like, like, what the fuck did we, we had, all this waiting not for even didn't even get a great fight yeah we got a little knockout at the end that was cool but we we knew you know the niggas who knew knew it was gonna come mm-hmm. but otherwise i was when i was watching with all the delays i stopped and realized damn this is making like one of jay-z's rock nation cards look better yeah <laughs> When they brought out Daddy Yankee to perform, I'm like, yo, I could actually, you know, use Daddy Yankee right now to just sing some random shit right now. At least do something. Bruh, dog, look, if y'all ever gonna do that bullshit again, and I promise y'all shouldn't, at least have something like, have some entertainers, some singers, rappers, something. And then y'all niggas had three national anthems. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, dude, like, and and honestly, the Russian national anthem, that shit was long as fuck. Like, I don't even remember it being that long. I'm like, mm-hmm. well, okay. Like, this so shit goes. Like, <laughs> like, like, he was looping that shit. Oscar's just like, keep it going. Keep it going. Because I promised, I was like, damn, like, this seemed kind of long. Like, he threw in another uh, extra verse for Mother Russia. Okay, I feel you, okay. Yeah, then we got to see more of their like backstories, even though we've seen it before in every other main event that they've been in. <laughs> it's like, come on, like y'all, y'all get this show on the road. So it's like the Jacobs fight was underwhelming, average. Canelo fight with Kovalev, another underwhelming, average fight. Canelo still throws like two hundred punches per fight, and we got twelve rounds. 
Jeez, yeah. like, oh my goodness. And there's no way I'm giving him fucking pound for pound number one. So y'all can just stop that. Like, nah, that's not happening. <laughs> yeah, so um We we gonna we gonna edit the uh you know we gotta update the list on ringgangradio.com for the pop for the uh pound for pound list. But yeah. Don't expect to see Canelo on number one on my shit. I'm just telling you that right now. <laughs> You don't get the fucking number one cherry picking. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm mean, being real, you know. Yeah, I can't believe it was just like even watching the fight, all those rounds. I was just like, that same thing you used to say before. I I have more entertaining rounds doing my own sparring. Yeah, br- bruh. Like, honestly, I'd rather just watch PJ spar. I'd rather just spar my damn self if, if that's the case. Like. <laughs> I'm just gonna just go through the then go through the hard drive like okay this one PJ for this code and okay this one I was training this one guy mm-hmm, like like I I could have just or, or I could just go into the vaults of the other Mexican legends like you know El Terrible and the Baby Assassin all of them I mean you know Morales Barrera all of them and see one of the one of many great fights they had with other elite guys like yeah or. If you want something current, the women's fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. That was a great fight. Like, like the women, women boxing been upstage in the dudes sometimes. Like, this, yeah. this was definitely one of those nights where it happened because it wasn't, ain't no female bout with an upstage, the damn um, Spence Porter, <laughs> Golovkin, uh, Dervianchenko, Vostick, Bitterby, like, a uh, uh, pro grade Taylor, like, all these good ass fights. <laughs> you know what? women needed their time to shine and you know Canelo and Kovalev were so kind enough to go ahead and stink up their own fight <laughs> yeah <laughs> in fact Oscar was such a gentleman he's just like you know what I'm supporting women in all ways so watch <laughs> me absolutely fuck everything up yeah like the execution on that was trash um, <laughs> I just gotta say that it was like and you know this is like look, look the eye test y'all already know how it is we talk about the little technical aspects and you know, the skills and all, we break all that shit down, but this one, <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie, like, I don't even just feel like doing that shit, it's like, uh, we just shitting on the event and the execution because we, we don't broke down the cherry pick, we don't told y'all that already, like, yeah, you can't really, the yeah, you can't really knock us if we've already called out, like, the majority of, like, <laughs> like weeks before, <laughs> what do you expect us to do? We just having fun with this. We just talking shit about the execution. You know, we can't even really focus on the fight because it was presented so badly. Like, like, look. Oh, uh, you know PJ. what's even funnier? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. What's up? When Garcia snubbed Oscar. <laughs> yo, son, yo, bro, bro. That shit was funny as hell. Like, that's the that's the tension I was talking about. Like the way how he was like, I like the thing. This guy, that guy. Okay, this other guy here. <laughs> <laughs> and the way he was moving his hand, I'm like, oh man, he got him, he got him. Like, yeah, but honestly, the way Oscar was looking, like nobody wanted to do shit, have have anything to do with him with all that fuck shit he was pulling. Then like, he was looking lit out of his mind. Yeah, we would say like he probably went through lines of liters of drink at this point. I'm saying, like, dude was sounding like how Barkley. Well, I don't even know how he was sounding when he didn't get to talk like that. But they didn't, they, they didn't want him to talk. Yeah, he was looking. He, he looked like the way Charles Barkley be sounding at them All Star games when he be drinking. <laughs> so we don't have a dialogue. Uh, yeah, uh. but see, this is the thing. It's like at least with them, it's like Barkley entertaining. You know, all of them talk they shit. It's like boxing has to get better personalities to kill time. Mm-hmm. If y'all gonna be having them twenty minute, thirty minute, you know promo episodes in between fucking fights like y'all gotta get some damn get these ass interviews <laughs> huh i'm like get guys who can know how to fill in time get like a jesus and Mara to talk to somebody at least it'd be like entertain the people some something make your own decent anybody like exactly you ain't gotta, there's, there's a bunch of talented people y'all can holler at and try to make new shows or something personalities like this, this shit ain't cutting it. Like, there's a whole bunch of... There's retired boxers. Y'all gonna holler at... There's a whole bunch of people who have 
great personalities out there. Where's you where's know? two star Mark Johnson? Where, where's Kevin Kelly? There's a whole bunch of these people. Like, come in on, fact, like, yeah. Put Spence and Porter as a team again on the mic. They will be going back and forth so much. It'll be so funny. Well, I mean, this. Oh, we we I keep it to the zone. Um, you know. All right. Yeah. Well, um, Remember, they they play for across the street, you know, and all that other bullshit. <laughs> They're at CVS while the other was Walgreens. Yeah. <laughs> exact same color shirt, but it's just a different sign. Then you got Eckerd somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Rite Aid. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we we, we throwbacks. Um, uh, but yeah, that's that's all I really got to say on this shit, man. Like, woo woo. Same here. Know, We'll, we'll probably touch on it again with the rest of the crew, um, you yep. know, with Pat and King P and all of them. Um, exactly. Just had me and me and PJ. We just had to fucking just speak our <laughs> little mind on this shit, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, we had to speak our mind on this. We had to just, you know, we couldn't have y'all waiting an extra day and shit. You know what I mean, like, <laughs> we're filling in for Big Papa Pat. Yeah, yeah, we had to give y'all the little promo. No, we had to give you a promo. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> we we was on our Oscar shit. Niggas is gonna be like, damn. But didn't they drop an episode already talking about the Canelo Kovalev fight? Yeah, 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 we did. Different and perspective. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> another one. Another one. <laughs> yeah, another one. Because because we you know Ring Gang is like that. You are gonna beat you over the head with this shit like Oscar did with all the promo. <laughs> Yeah, and how he's just creepily hanging about. You know, like, people when saw him walk in there red face, people just reacting like this. Police! Help! Police! Help! Police! Help! Police! Help! Oh, man. <laughs> they were just like, there's this random drunk that's on stage. We don't know who it is. Oh, no, that's no, Oscar. That's the golden boy. Hot twist. It's Oscar. M. Night Shyamalan's been in the back where clapping his hands together like, yes. Oh, All right. <laughs> Yo, we can wind it down. <laughs> we, let's not take away from the Monday episode. Yeah. <laughs> like, we, it's like, this, we don't even have jokes for this no more. It's like, that's it. Like, um, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, tune in next time on uh, Ring Gang Radio Z. I mean, um, <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> RingGameRadio.com, you know, a real talk podcast, but you know, this I test with, with PJ and Shutterworth. Um, but we had to remix it this time and just, you know, kind of give us, give y'all them, uh, them pet peeves or our just initial first thoughts of that old Kovalev Canelo fight. Debacle. Debacle, you know, uh, the cherry pick, the, the Whole Foods shop- shopping list. <laughs> Publix, Win Dixie, whatever, whatever you know. Wherever maybe. you can get your coupons from. Yeah, and if you overseas, whatever market you shop at and get your food, I mean, Costco seems to be everywhere, so you could just say the Costco yeah, shopping. Costco. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's about it. Um, y'all just make sure y'all check out ringgameradio.com. Y'all subscribe. We gonna have more training videos, more articles. New, new uh, highlight videos, new everything. Um, make sure y'all check out Rome EP, the uh, Romantic. It's on all of, all streaming platforms, Spotify, all of that. Uh, Clanarchy, uh, Soul of the Sword Volume Three, Beat Tape, Fire. Y'all check that out. That's on Bandcamp. Um, oh, you know myself, Goat Artist, Shutterworth. You know, that album's on all available streaming platforms, Spotify, just like Rome. So you'll see our shit. Other than that, um, be on the lookout. Just stay tuned. Um, PJ going to be dropping some some fire-ass training videos soon. Um, Prolific going to have some more highlights for us and shit. So, you know. Yeah. Keep on the lookout for the fight, Architect. I'm always in the roof fixing stuff. Yeah. Fixing your game, fixing your boxing, your jab, all of that shit. You know? Mm-hmm. And we had to give y'all a little eye test. Yo, I swear, Kovalev be bringing out them eye test videos for us. <laughs> He's a classic. He he just knows how. Kovalev be, I swear, like, I don't know why we always end up <laughs> talking about these Kovalev fights. Because he always makes it in such a way that you could do so many breakdowns of it. Yeah. <laughs> Every It never fails. Going back to damn, the, uh, the first Alvarez fight. Yeah, from his prime to his decline. He's just been a consistent. Like, he's a consistent guest. Yeah. But, yeah, I ain't going to say too much um, else. Uh, we, you know, just let y'all know 
we we out here we doing the thing so exactly so uh with that said y'all take it easy and remember y'all y'all hit us on the youtube y'all subscribe and get us get us a thousand followers you know what i mean see what's good <laughs> Ring exactly. game radio. yeah shut up with pj i test peace